ko ay sikidla tahimik. Kaya kong tawiran kahit anong tulay sa buong mundo. I was quitting my job as an economist. I could have stayed and stuck in that career. Pero usually hindi ba lalag sa mga we teach you in college once you know your goal is stay on track. When I look back to I allowed myself to stray on track. I strayed away from that and I constantly selected to become a, a creative human being with a strong passion for nature, with a strong feeling for yung kagalingan ng mga katutubo. And by straying along that path, I think. Yeah, I turned 81. I'm glad I, I, I'm not going to be a banker or stayed abroad. So, you know, my reputation ko of Kitla Tamek as an artist was mainly because of filmmaking. I think uh, Kitla is a pure energy and it doesn't need anymore to broadcast itself with sound. I want to a momentum as a, as a source of energy which I can share to mga kabataan. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to be a wise <laughs> person, but I mean, marami akong may share. And I think to be a pure energy like lightning is a nice, uh, pure way of reaching other people. As an artist, I have a twin. You know. Talaga meron siyang word view. Very much different from in Saiba. Pero ko, dahil nga, bago sa Little America, nung bata ako, I feel a hook line and singer. Pinanggap po. May hindi pinapakita dito sa bago, Hollywood films, at mga ilang Tagalog films. Pero nung hapon tumatanda ako, sabi ko, Tignan, bakit? Is this, ito na lang bang pwede nang uh, i-consume ko lang as a, as a spectator? Quite excited to make my own films. Today, I am still trying to make that final crossing to freedom. I am Kidlat Tahimik. I choose my vehicle and I can cross all bridges. Whenever I see the film, yung mabawang bumungot and yung opening lines is, ako si Kidla Tahimik, I can cross any bridge. No? Ngayon, nakikita ko, it's a, it's a cry of freedom or, 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 or a wish for freedom. At yung character sa film ay isang taong, he doesn't realize it, pero napipresa siya. Prisoner siya ng kulturang kolonyal. So I think the expression of to, to be free, to cross any bridge, is babalikan niya yung lakas ng kanyang kultura. Babalak, babalikan niya yung lakas ng kanyang lolo at lola. So in that film, nakinig siya doon kay Kaya, yung, yung the old man with the tattoo. At na-discover na niya na mas kinapalag palagi niyang parang siya nasisindak sa kultura ng mga Amerikano o ng French o sa Dayuan. Nakita rin niya, wow, ang lakas rin ng, ng yaman ng kultura ko. And that's the key to my freedom is to be armed by my own culture and not trying to be like them. So, I said that 45 years ago, and the national artist uh, na papa wow pa ako. <laughs> That's a big one. There's a, there's a Pinoy identity that you can't describe it in words. It's not identity for the sake of ego. I'm different man. No, I'm Masikat. I don't know. It's just. Hindi tayo na homogenize. Hindi tayo na being like everybody who is on the same bandwagon to become rich, to become famous. You get more joy not from having a big car, but having... Yung sapat yung pagkakon. Nag-i-enjoy ka 
enjoy ka kasi may ginawa kang na-share sa iba. If our young artist can bring up the theme of a people couple, nakaslogan ng buong makilangaman, it's hard to fix it. No, we're losing because ina-emulate natin yung mga tayo. Marami tayong mga nagkwento dito sa ating bayan. Marami tayong dole at marami mga uh, malamat. So it's a that we can relate to. Ngayon ang problema ngayon, I think, ah, is that sobrang parang tsunami <laughs> <laughs> ng mga superheroes sa films, you know? So nakapunod mga pagpapata, nakapunod ng mga matatanda, and it's strange because you know everybody's masaya, but if they analyze it, so come on, ano bang na pick up with this film right now? So the last two decades or two, almost two decades, we've got an indie film movement. So the mga small time productions with a big heart, malita budget, wow, na puso kasi most of us want to tell a relevant story. This was brilliant ng mga indie filmmakers matapal yung may kabuluan sa ng kultura, may kabuluan sa kunay na buhay. Kasi hindi driven by the money of the producer. You have a freedom to try something new, try a different story, and hope it will reach a few hearts there. So sa atin, freedom always implies responsibility. Hindi lang yan. Gusto mong sarili. And even if it's the truth, maybe it's not always a criteria for freedom. Ang freedom, parang may preno ka rin. Yung preno mo is to say something that's responsible, that is uh, fair. Uh, yung kailangan mong sinasabi mo may kabulo din sa audience mo. Or if you're making a film, this has helped mankind feel good about itself. It's all coming together, but just trying not to be copycat, trying to avoid becoming a Disney version of animation here. Uh, trying not to read every advertisement that, that you hear. Um, questioning, you know, uh, trending. I'm looking for those that you know, in Bagay Karena. Can give us contentment and peace, inner peace. Mga kumataan, let's look for that. And you can still enjoy wearing jeans and being like the white people. But hindi yun ang main goal na. We can get back our spirituality. The world is so beautiful. Tell you what that one tree, you know. Then, you know, the water and the air, so it's good. You know, yeah. You know, the whole thing that we have to do is to do it. We have 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 to do it. So when you enter the door of Lito, and you later can take a shot there, you'll see two figures. Huh? On the left side, you see Nambian, she's blowing. She's the goddess of the wind of Mugao. And the goddess of the wind of the goddess of the wind of Hollywood. Christian Hollywood, marami kami mga lang ideologiya at alamat dito sa Pilipinas. We don't need your sex and violence stories. Marami kami tungkol sa ating kalikasan. We don't need your Harvey Weinstein stories.